Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mark Gannon. Bid you all welcome back to The Witcher. Some very, very exciting developments in the last episode. Uh, before we go too far. I only work by. Okay, so he's not selling to us because uh, we helped out the Scoyatel recently. These guys are very bipolar. It does not take much for them to, uh, you know, turn around and refuse to do business with us. Anyway. So, so, uh, we know for a fact now that Azar Javed is, uh, masquerading as Raymond the Investigator. Or the Detective, I should say. Uh, and naturally it would be a terrible idea to, uh, go in solo and confront him directly with it. I'm not sure what the hell... Ooh, Ger ah, now I know what Geralt's staring at. Naturally it would be a terrible idea to just conf confront him with this accusation. Well, let's just see what happens if we do, shall we? I'm gonna keep a separate save for this, just to be careful. Yes? Oh. So what should I look for during the autopsy? Examine the internal organs. Poison is in fashion, especially in marital disputes, and anyone can prepare deadly decoctions from ordinary herbs. Look closely at the liver for any signs of alchemy. See you later. Now it says I have the autopsy results, which I most certainly do not because I have not even conducted it yet. That makes no sense. You're telling me. Yes? I have the autopsy results. And? I couldn't con- How's that? How do I put this? Hmm. I mistook one vial for another and poured some caustic crap on the corpse. We couldn't draw any conclusions from what remained. None? None at all? Not a one. Come on, Raymond. Everyone makes mistakes. I need to think. Come back later. That's very unusual. Huh. Okay, well, we're not doing it that way. I thought you could confront him, but perhaps we have to wait until after the autopsy. Makes sense, I suppose. <clears throat> I've commented before on how it seems like the... Um... This order of events in this quest get very fucked up if you do things a little bit out of sequence. So this is probably one of those cases, it's just... Even though we have enough to implicate him... Uh, the opportunity to confront him does not happen until after... Either we perform the autopsy, or feign the results. So... Let's see. Um, we do not want to go straight ahead and perform the autopsy. We need some information. We need to... Shit, I don't even remember what we needed. Cursed... There's a book on, um, like, human anatomy or something. Forensic medicine, there we go. Ah, oh, bollocks. What? Do I have shit for you? Already read that, take it. Already read that, take it. Teddy, what the hell are you doing? Stop fucking around. Already read that. Already read that. Augments the intensity of all signs. Look at that. I do approve. Alright, let's get your medicine book. Shit, where the hell did it go? On the ground. Madness. Indeed. Where the fuck is my book? What you want? Ah. Don't hide it from me. Buy him. Well, that happened. What you? What else? Did, Fair what books. else did we need?
Now, who else do we need to talk to? I, um... I forget whether or not you actually need to have all this information before you can do the uh, autopsy and do it properly. Perhaps uh, Kalkstein has something. I just I don't want to fuck it up, you know. I don't want to get that far and then just find out. Oh, I I uh, did something wrong. So obviously we're we're looking to implicate. Javed. We're actually, we're not even looking to implicate him anymore. We know that he is guilty. We're just trying to comprehend his methods. And, uh, you know, prove beyond a shadow of a doubt that nobody else is responsible. So perhaps, uh, Kulkstein. Hmm. I know Raymond is the Salamandra leader. Are you sure? Yes, I have irrefutable evidence. Azar killed Raymond and assumed his identity using an illusion. The rogue! What do you intend to do about it? You're better off not knowing. Be careful. He has great power. You must separate him from its source, the element of fire. Lure him to a place where the magical aura is unstable. It would be best if this place were surrounded by the opposing element, water. The tower in the swamp. Ideal. You'd stand a chance there. I'm here about the notice. You have Al... Not yet. Hurry! I keep forgetting about that. Hmm. So that is a, uh... That is a fairly wise... Basics of alchemy. Ooh, drowner repelling. Give me that shit. Anything to get those fuckers off my back. Man, these books are so expensive. Alright, so he's got nothing. Give me a second to look this up, because I do not want to miss this. There it is. Now this is the other book we need. There's nothing to really suggest that uh, this is important to our investigation, but uh, it actually is quite helpful. Now, I do apologize for having to look that up, but again, this this uh, quest is so obscure and obtuse that it is uh, going to be quite difficult to get all the information you need and just know, you know, what you're supposed to even be looking for. Um, also, like, I had found these before, and I just could not remember where to get the uh, information. I did not want to spend the rest of this episode running around trying to find a damn book. Um, there might be other ways to get the information you need, but just going for those books is the most straightforward. Now, Shani should be back here. No, she is not. Where is she? Oh. Uh, oh, you got the guy. But apparently Shani did not report for work today. Maybe she's back at the house. I have to wait until nightfall just to call her to come to, you know, her place of employment today. That would be fucking annoying. Well, she ain't here either. What is she up to? There's probably just a bug going on here, like... She's supposed to be there for the autopsy, but she does not show up... ...until we, uh, tell her that everything's ready. Which means she's just kind of vanished from the game until nightfall. Pain in the ass that is, but... Such is life. I believe we can talk to either Coxine or Vivaldi to wait until night, rather than running all the way back to the uh, you know, Dust Town area. What brings you here? Also, we're looking for a letter from him. Have you finished your answer to Yavin? Yes, here it is. The elf will surely reward you. Surely. Right. 
Ah, il est Dieu. Uh, night time, day time. Still in here. Oh, for fuck's sake. I guess so she only shows up here after hours. Ready for the autopsy? I'm surprised you knew it was stuff. ready. Alright. Keeping a save. Alright, well, I guess it's a little late for that. Ah, uh, yes. Yeah, start pouring liquids instead of looking at the body. That's gonna solve all our problems. Race, human. Gender, male. Wounds, extensive. Shani, this isn't a lecture hall. Whatever you say, he died yesterday, torn to pieces. Uh, he's been dead for more than a day, I can promise you that. I also don't know how you deduced his gender and his uh, cause of death just by pouring a green and blue liquid together. Um... The bone marrow has been sucked out. Must be scavengers. Very likely. Plenty around the cemetery. So, he was torn to pieces after he died. I'm interested in the cause of death. I also see some stab wounds. A blade... two fingers wide. External signs aren't everything. His neck muscles and palms look tense. How do you know when he died? Normally I base it on muscle stiffness and dehydration, but rigor mortis is persisting for too long. They say successful autopsies are based on curiosity. Should we look? Let's check his internal organs. Let's do that. Gonna pour some liquids together to find the answers? The symptoms are peculiar, and the cause of death, too. Those wounds are too obvious. I suspect something more. Poison? If so, a rare sort. Perhaps an alchemist's brew? Kolkstein? Ah! Liver's completely cirrhotic. It was obviously a potent poison. The stinks of alchemy. This is too easy. Life can be simple sometimes. Are you certain poison is the only explanation for the unusual rigor mortis? The most likely cause. I have a sinking feeling there's more to this. We can try the coroner's last resort, opening the skull. Alright, let's crack that walnut then. Uh, are you gonna kiss him, or, uh, what? Opening the skull, always a pleasure. See that in the brain? Larva of the Zeracanian tsetse fly. But, how did they get in his brain? It's part of their development cycle. If we were in Zeracania, I'd say a fly crawled up his nose and laid its eggs. We're in Temeria. Our climate is too cold and dry for the tsetse fly. Even if someone brought eggs, how would they get up his nose? What do these eggs look like? Tiny, white, like flour. Or Fistek. Geralt, I gave him Fistek before he died. He was suffering terribly, and we had no other anesthetics. I thought it was safe. Where did you get it? From your friend, the detective. He told me it was from special stock. Raymond. Then we have a problem. He added eggs to the Fistek, then came here at night to fake the other evidence. That doesn't sound like Raymond at all. My medallion vibrates whenever I see him lately. And Zeracania? That's where Azar Javed is from. The real Raymond may no longer be with us. But I saw him just yesterday. Azar's using an illusion, trying to manipulate me. Thanks, Shani. I couldn't have figured it out without you. What will you do now? I'll talk to Kalkstein first. He should help me prepare. Hey, what the fuck just happened? Why are they playing like I didn't know he was already Javed? That's... that's very strange. Uh, it's possible that I was supposed to talk to... 
Shani before the autopsy and explain that we already knew Javed was the killer. That we were just looking for an M.O. But that's just so weird. I don't know. Such is life. Now, there is another thing that happens with Shani before the next chapter that I generally tend to miss out on. Because I was not aware of it, because I usually just don't talk to Shani again after this. But if we go back to her place, there should be something we can do. Hello. Wow, that's the easiest time you've ever given me. Wakey, wakey. Yes? You need any help? I'd like to ask a favor. I'm listening. Remember Dandelion? Well... We're trying to organize a gathering. A gathering? To reminisce, have a few drinks. However... Lacking the drinks? You guessed it. And I don't want to serve just anything. What do you need? Cherry vodka for dandelion. Rosé wine for me. And something for you. Sounds fantastic. I'll try. Dandelion. We, uh... Oh, apparently I have it all. We are aware... That uh, there are people in our, um, you know, history that we just don't quite remember. But Dandelion, that just sounds like the name of a dude who, uh, <laughs> you know, would drink some uh, chintzy flavored liquor. Yes. I brought some liquor. Splendid. Bring a friend. See you at the party. Invite one person to Shani's party. Well, it's not much of a party with only three confirmed guests, so I guess we should bring somebody who's, uh... Well, hello. Get out of the way, stupid dwarf. It'll probably be wise, because this bastard almost killed you. Alright, what was I saying? Yeah, um... There are, I believe, three people that you can bring to the party. I honestly can't remember who they are. Maybe there's even more than that. Um, one of them that I can tell you don't want is uh, Carmen from the brothel. Uh, you can imagine that would not go over well if you're bringing an escort to a, you know, a gathering of friends. I thought, um, what's his name was here? Oh, yes, I remember who you can bring. Um, you can bring Zoltan, Carmen, or, of all people, Siegfried. It's quite hilarious, but, um, we are not gonna bring him. Uh, we're, we're, we're gonna seek out Zoltan and invite him, because I think he would, uh, you know, he's, he, there's... The problem with this game is just that we don't, you know, we're introduced to NPCs that we obviously don't know, but the game acts like we do know them. And so, um, you know, having played through this game and having played the second game, uh, I am aware of the fact that Dandelion and Zoltan are, in fact, friends, and that it makes sense to invite Zoltan to uh, this party in order to see him again. But... What, buddy? There's nothing really here to uh, lead everybody to that conclusion. Let's go till noon. Zoltan should uh, probably pop up here for a visit. So we can save time just asking him before we make our way out. Now, before we really proceed, we uh, obviously, in order to... Well, we, we have to go um, talk to Vincent. He might be able to help us, too. But... Um, obviously the next step in the main quest is to get into the Tower in the Swamp. Because, um, we're no longer just looking for it for Kalkstein's sake. It's also a fantastic place to make our stand against, uh, Azar Javid. So that's something we're gonna have to put off a little bit longer so we can wrap up all the side quests here. Yes? Care to drop in on Shani's party? At our place? Yeah. See you there. Bring alcohol. Uh, that's kind of the point, buddy. I don't know what a party would be like without it. 
I guess that's the ultimate question. Uh, must just be happening now. Wasn't sure if there was a time frame for it, so why don't we just get that taken care of? Debauchery under my roof. She hooks herself a musician or something. It's the famous poet Dandelion. I know his fame. I've no desire to listen to a crying brat nine months from now. Shall I chaperone them? Finally, you're making sense. Ah, well, I guess I'll, uh, you know. Stick around and keep the debauchery to a minimum. Hey! We're here. Where's, uh, where's Zoltan? Hi, Geralt. Dandelion can't wait to see you. Pleased to meet you, stranger. Geralt? I'll be damned. For a second there, I thought I was seeing a ghost. No, I'm no ghost. Am I losing my mind? Is this a joke? Shawnee? And it's no joke. But how? I saw it myself. What did you see, Dandelion? I saw her tell them to put you on a boat. And there was a unicorn, and Milva, Kahir, and Angulem, and Yarpen, and Zoltan. We all witnessed it. I lost my memory, but I want to know why everyone's so surprised to see me alive. Tell me everything, step by step. Five years ago, we were sitting in a tavern with friends, eating escargot, drinking vodka. A bloodthirsty mob attacked the non-human district. You went out into the street to scare them off, and then... What? Someone stabbed you in the stomach with a pitchfork. A fatal wound. There was nothing we could do. Are you telling me everything? We were all there. All meaning who? You really don't remember a thing. Your loved ones. Your friends sounds a bit like a ballad it's the truth and nothing but Geralt forgive me I still can't believe you're here listen dandelion I don't have proof because that's impossible I don't remember I'm afraid some things can't be explained hmm let's sit down have a drink like old friends time will tell who I am you're right we've been through too much together I'd know well that's nice uh, good to catch up with old friends, but it seems like it's just uh, kind of a confounding and perplexing mystery. I'll probably add some tension to this uh, social gathering here, but... Now, i got to be frank. Uh, Dandelion's voice actor in the second game is so much better that I almost can't bear listening to him in this game. It's, it's just... His, uh, his mannerisms, his personality are just not demonstrated by his voice actor. But, uh, oh well. This game was not really awarded for its voice acting chops. Now I assume we talked to Shani. You invite anyone? Zoltan Chive. Know him? No, but I'd love to meet him. Splendid. Well, you seem to be Zoltan aware of him. I have always gotten along. Well, isn't that convenient? You're the one who directed me to him when, uh, I had the question about the sword. I've been thinking, and I have a question. Don't hold back, Dandelion. It doesn't suit you. How would Let's I know? imagine your next contract is a vampire. What would you do? Silver sword. Potions. What are you driving at? Ha! Huh. What if I said you'd reach a deal with this vampire? Dandelion, believe me, if you could tell a Bruxa to hunt rabbits, for instance, I'd be long unemployed. What about higher vampires? They're rare. I don't know. Let me show you what drinking blood means to a higher vampire. Dandelion. Cheers. Cheers. Ah, strong, but good. You were about to enlighten me. I just did that with that last shot. Listen to a man who's lived a little and not lost his memory. Higher vampires treat blood like we treat... Ooh, someone's coming. Zoltan Chive, miss. It's been a while, Dandelion. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings. Hey, Zoltan. I have a hankering for good booze. It's coming. 
Pour around, Geralt. Well, we're getting stumbly by the minute. Huh, you would think Geralt would not be the lightweight of the group. I'm the only one kind of losing myself here. Stiff stuff. I'm feeling a little loosey goosey. Bees is best, I always say. It depends. For a romantic dinner for two, booze won't do. Not so much for the taste, but because of the after effects. My Eudora and I have often downed a jug and observed no effects. I prefer wine, but don't mind liquor. In moderation. Quality booze is also used in modern medical treatments, which Shani will confirm. It's an excellent disinfectant, yes. Not only. It warms the body, alleviates pain, and overcomes weakness. Let's test it. Cheers! Cheers! Boy, we are getting wasted here. What is it? Tell me about the Battle of Brenna. With four of us and thousands of wounded, I never left the tent. I admire you, Shani. It was one of the worst days of my life. I hope you don't mind that I invited Sultan. I like him. I'm glad. Boy, girl, you really have a hard time staying on task when you're drunk. So, as I was saying, unlike the lesser ones, higher vampires don't need blood, human or otherwise. Blood, my dear monster slayer, is like booze to them. Where'd you learn this? By the spider's hairy balls, I know. Am I the only one who's confused? No, I don't get it either. Thundaline, what's your point? Geralt, you had a true friend who was a vampire. Did I also have a friend who was a dragon? Actually, you did, so the joke's on you. In any case, this vampire's name was Regis. Zoltan can back me up. He was your friend and could pull red-hot horseshoes from the hearth without burning his bare hands. What happened to this Regis? Emil Regis Rohalak Tertsif Godfroy died fighting by your side, Geralt. Let's drink to him and others who have fallen. Let's drink. Caleb Stratton. Rusty. Uh, Coleman? <laughs> Are we just shouting out names of people who died? What was that now? I've never seen a, uh, you know, party of four get this uh, rampunctious so quickly, so early in the evening. It's completely dark down there. Is it? Let's drink to our mistakes. How about we drink to forget them? That's what I usually do. You hungry? A little. We've bread, but we shouldn't eat plain bread. Zoltan's hey man, you gotta carve up. Some lard. That mummy downstairs must have a full larder. You're joking. That mummy must have some lard. Maybe pickles too. Shani? Just don't get caught, Geralt. I'll pay for them tomorrow. Wait a second. Why me? Dwarves are no masters of stealth. Shani wouldn't sneak about, and Dandelion, well, he'd mess up. All right, I'll be right back. I'm not exactly, you know, a cat on my tiptoes when I'm uh, stumbling around like this. I can barely even keep my head straight. All right, such is life. We're going to look for some lard and pickles. Is lard actually, like, a food that people used to eat? I thought it was just something you used for, like, you know, cooking. Do they just, like, slather on their bread like butter? <laughs> kind of gross to think about. Alright, well... I'm not sure where her pantry is. God, now this is the only problem. When when the game actually has you do uh, certain quests after a uh, drinking segment, holy shit, it is frustrating. Uh, nobody needs, needs a pair. I don't think she would keep food in the wardrobe. Perhaps in the cupboards? In this here shelf? Oh, well, maybe we could uh, have a fine cheese with our... With our bread. Pickles and lard, look at that. I did not know that that was a uh, combination that people enjoyed. 
Oh, let me stumble back up the stairs. All right, boys and girls, I got the goods. Any success? Lard and pickles. Hmm. How about sugar? Zoltan. I'm not going back down there. Lard will do. Oh, time for a uh, dandelion solo, I guess. I don't know if we're just supposed to sit in and listen or what. I think I know the perfect song for Zoltan. We'd love to hear it. Sing away, Dandelion. By the woods, can you see Wolf in all his might? Grinning madly, wagging gladly, bouncing with delight. My oh my, what a sight. Why no melancholy? Must be that, still not wed, that is why so jolly. Arr, arr, arr. In the grass, can you see, wolf just limps along, looking down, awful frown, crying like a dog. Why is this mighty beast so badly rampaged? Must be that, freshly wed, or lately engaged. Arr. Zoltan, how's the wife? Ah, uh, hard question, Dandelion. The old times will never come back. The good old times. Shani's asleep. Let's have a drink, then leave. To Shani. To Shani. Oh, she's not asleep. She's walking right there. Holy shit. Bailing out quick. No oh, goodness. All right, I'm coming up the rear. Don't don't wait for me. I'll be right behind you. I just picture Geralt falling down the stairs. That would just be the most marvelous way to end this evening. All right, boys, what's next? Hop down to the bar. Oh, it's daytime. Guess it's time to, uh... Time to check in, I suppose. I'm sleepy. <laughs> You're telling me. Now, it is interesting that strafing seems to be the quickest way to move when you're inebriated, so... In my experience, the quickest way to move when you're inebriated is backwards and flat on your ass. Now let's make our way to, um... Holy shit, Geralt. That is some impressive maneuvering there. Wow. Could give uh, Michael Jackson a run for his money if he were still alive. All right, I'm here to take a nap. Well, that was very sinister. Ugh. 
Good way to sleep that bender off. All right, well, guess we should uh, be bringing Shiny some roses. I imagine we find those from a uh, an herbalist in the market square. What? Uh, I don't remember if she has a particular preference for roses. Uh, personally, I find white to be the most. I don't know. They say you halted the black. Wakey wakey, got something for you. Yes. Oh, where'd I put him? There you are. Lovely roses, Geralt. I warm to gestures like this. Is that so? Glad. Different colors mean different things. Red roses, for instance, signify love. Is that so? So I guess we brought her the wrong ones. Didn't seem to, uh, really appreciate those all that much. Alright, fine. We'll get her some red roses, perhaps. Red roses, please. Interesting. She does not seem to uh, demand anything of us anymore. Unless we just got r lucky twice in a row. Alright. I got the goods. Yes. There are your red roses, since my white ones were not good enough. In fact, she didn't even take them! Red roses, Geralt. So you... You're blushing. I get flowers so rarely. A pretty young medic like you can't be lacking admirers. Well, this gloomy fellow scared everyone else away. If you need help... What, what gloomy fellow? Fine. He was mysterious. Even charming in a peculiar way. We actually went out a few times, and who knows what might have happened if I hadn't discovered he was leading a double life. Who do you mean? Taller. I doubt you know it. Oh, goodness. We were walking along the dike one evening when I realized we were being followed by two men wearing gray coats over special forces armor. The coats were supposed to hide them. They didn't know at university I learned to recognize their kind. I thought we were going to be arrested, then Taller told me not to worry. Duty called, and we needed to part. I was about to give him a piece of my mind when I noticed the men giving him signals. Were they wearing salamander badges? Wait. I was curious, so I said he broke my heart and faked fainting. Taller said to the men, This better be important. One of them answered, But chief, we hid invisible-like. Taller said, Your balls will be invisible-like when I shove them up your ass. I couldn't help but burst out laughing. How'd it end? They walked me home. I heard an invisible one say their operation against Salamandra had failed. Who were they? Foltest secret police. When we first met in Oxenfurt, I helped you evade Redanian agents. The Temerian ones are little better. Speaking of Oxenfurt, what did Dandelion actually interrupt? Thought you'd never ask. Oh. Well, we, uh, we changed subjects pretty quick. Oh my. Hope you got all the kids out of the room, ladies and gentlemen. Damn, we're rocking so hard we're knocking the plaster off the ceiling. Oh, poor woman. Yeah, I gave her an anatomy lesson, I'm sure. All right, well then, that was very enlightening. I guess for her sake, I will not be here in the morning. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that was a rather uh, unusual way to end the episode, but um, we're getting a little long here, so I uh, think we should call it here. Next time on The Witcher, I guess we uh, I guess we romance with her. Look at that. That wasn't really. That's not really my end game. I'll be honest. I am more of a uh, Triss kind of man, but uh, that will come up later. Anyway. Uh, yeah, next episode, we I guess we'll be returning to the swamp. We do need to talk to Vincent first. And uh, I do not want to 
uh, leave here without uh, advancing the dice poker quest. Make sure that we've uh, beaten all the talent there is to be had in this part of town. We've got to find the lost boy if we can find him. Uh, we have to return to the grave digger. I don't think there are any more fist fights to be done in this chapter. Gotta do the Echinops, uh, the Al Ghul Marrow, the Wolf Pelts. And uh, Yavin's letter. All right. That'll all happen next time, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. For now, uh, don't forget to follow me on Twitch and subscribe to my stream archive channel. I'm hoping to begin these streams again with some regularity every Tuesday or thereabouts. But until then, have yourselves a wonderful evening, and we will see you all next time.